We thrive off of painting our sensations. The interaction of painting, light, color, the flora, the fauna, meeting nature on its own terms. The interaction of all these things work together to communicate an idea about a moment in life. We Are Farm is a special type of place where artists can focus on these things and feel that they are a part of something far bigger than themselves. The first time that I witnessed Weir Farm, I saw a beautiful little watercolor done by Julian Alden Weir, and it inspires me to this day. I'm Dimitri Wright. I'm here at Weir Farm National Historic Site. I'm here to celebrate the legacy, the life, the work of Julian Alden Weir. I too am in the, impression, in the tradition of American Impressionism. I try to teach the science and poetry of Impressionism to children, teens, and adults. I think the most outstanding thing about We Are Farm is that it is an environment for all seasons. We paint in the wintertime, the spring, the summer, and the fall. And we find it a fascinating venue to express one's feelings about the, the creative process in nature. The variety of things to paint is very exciting. The buildings, the flora, the fauna, the bird watchers, the dog walkers, all that is subject matter for an impressionist painter to work from. You've seen many Impressionist masterpieces where the interaction of all these things work together to communicate an idea about a moment in life. We Impressionists love to paint from our sensations and within that we're able to communicate the things which are within our heart. The Academy, where would Impressionism be without it? I too was trained in the academy. I was even a, an academy instructor. From that, artists learn certain things about the science of art. Basically, art has the science and the poetry. In the science, so let's talk about light a little bit. There are five elements of light that was focused in the academy. Highlight, direct light, shadow, reflected light, and cast shadow. The Impressionists knew this, and this was a way of communicating how form works. Basically, what you would do is to understand how those five elements of light would work on the three basic forms. The three basic forms are the cube, the sphere, and the cylinder. And the way the light moved across those objects would communicate a sense of an illustrative structure a way of creating things which are believable and lifelike. The natural impressionists knew this, and as they started to move forward in a creative process, they became more interested in color. The impressionists used the five elements of light, and then from there added two basic elements moving forward, which would be transparent light and translucent light. Those two elements allowed greater sensation of a space and a dimension, overall uh, ambience, um, atmospheric um, luminosity, and so forth. This became composition in and of itself. Color and light became almost more important than object. From a compositional standpoint, Impressionism started to adopt influence by the 
Asians, or I should say Japanese woodblock prints. And from this, they started to understand asymmetrical composition and a greater appreciation for negative space. Basically, from that standpoint, we have the main object being positive and the space around being negative. It is the interaction of these elements that creates a very unique feel within the compositional environment. From the academy standpoint, composition would be more structured, uh, more centralized, and the main structure will always be central um, and centered, whereas the impressionist standpoint, things would be asymmetrical, in other words, off-center. The same thing would happen with color and light. The five elements of light evolved into transparent light and translucent light. And for me, I use those five elements of light as my foundation. And then from there, I use transparent light and translucent light all the way to the next element of light, which will be transcendent light. And in that, it's not so much the way something looks, but more how I feel about that particular object. It's the things which move beyond words. It's the things which are transcendent in that something wonderful and miraculous. I think this play between science and poetry is what is so dynamic about American Impressionism. The Americans went to Paris to study the academy, to learn all the principles about the five elements of light and a traditional color, and ran into a revolution. And that revolution were the Impressionists, applying Impressionist principles. I think that should be something that no one should be burdened by. Actually, I think one should simply paint naturally and humbly. In other words, your own intuitive, naive impression of the subject. However, if one would like to develop more insight or a look of being connected to classic impress uh, impressionist ideas, then apply these principles. The first would be optical mixing. And with optical mixing, that means that one should mix one's colors by stepping back. Uh, stepping back meaning using a fencing position or often stepping back several feet to see the way colors come together. When things are close together, or smoothed out, one is not using a optical mix. The best way to describe optical mixing would be looking at a photograph of a magnifying glass and you'll see that there is a dot matrix there and when the dots are closer together uh, the image looks black and the spacing between the little dots will determine this kind of grayscale, so to speak. The same thing happens with an impressionist painting when the strokes are close together, things tend to look a little smoother, but when they're more separated, they're more rough, and you can get these, what is called broken space strokes. Broken space strokes is another hallmark of Impressionism. It allows the artist to use expressionistic strokes along with illustrative strokes. Illustrative strokes are those that communicate a sense of form and representational structure expressive strokes communicates feelings, passions. Um, they, the, the combination of the two creates this signature or what I call image poetry within the Impressionist model. Another Impressionist principle would be asymmetrical composition. In other words, take whatever the main subject is and move it off to the side. Don't place it in the center. What happens with that is that you wind up with a space or negative space which is as important as the main object. This way the whole environmental aspect of painting becomes more alive and you start to establish that sort of look. 
These things are not a style, it's a way of looking at the world. Impressionism is a revolution. It changed the way painters began to think of themselves in relationship to the creative process, at themselves in relationship to their subject matter. Next, a few quick tips that will help you have a more pleasant impressionist experience. Um, in particular, plein air experience. One should prepare before one, before one goes out. And make sure you have all the gear necessary, but in particular, bug spray that can come in handy, and travel light. Uh, step one, one should do scouting, uh, find your scene, um, and when you do that, you should gaze. Uh, by gazing, you allow the subject come to come to you. Um, once that is established, you should make sketches. And sketches are informal ways of capturing your natural impulses about your sensations. From there, make some studies. Studies is when one starts to focus on a particular set of ideas or virtue within the subject that you can expand upon. And then from there, one can make your drawing onto the picture plane or even an, another piece of uh, paper to get a real clear set of dynamics that are at play upon which your impressionist impulse can take place. Once that is established, you have the fertile ground to really capturing your sensations. I think what's most exciting about being an Impressionist painter at this particular age is that the technology that presents itself to us is part of the inspiration, the catalyst for moving forward in the creative process as the Impressionists of old were inspired by film and the, uh, the train, we are inspired by the automobile and digital technology.